morning, I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. We continue to follow this front that will move through overnight tonight and bring us a chance of some scattered thunderstorms and possibly some severe weather. Here's a look at the big picture, and you can see what's been happening with the system. It uh, has a history of producing some severe weather, but most of that has been uh, back to uh, our west across the Mississippi Valley overnight last night. The red shaded area is where we have a tornado watch, and uh, in that watch area overnight last night there were some severe thunderstorm warnings and some tornado warnings. We're not likely to see any of that around our area, but we do have that front that will swing through overnight tonight, and that will bring us an isolated chance of a severe storm. Here's a look at future cast as we push through between now and lunchtime, just a few isolated showers. We could see a few breaks in the clouds even this afternoon south of the Triangle area, but we will not be finished at that point, even though we get a break potentially during the evening commute. The uh, line of thunderstorms approaches us starting at around 9 p.m. Between 10 and 11, it moves through the Triangle area and then out of the viewing area by midnight. But you can see um, not a whole lot left with it at that point. The Storm Prediction Center still has us under that level one risk, but our chance of severe storms definitely much bigger back to the west across parts of Kentucky, Tennessee, and the deep south. Western North Carolina under a level one risk, and it's a level two risk, uh, under a level two risk. And of course, we're under the level one risk, meaning just a small chance of a few storms storms that could produce some wind damage. Outside this morning, it's been cloudy. Temperatures will be climbing slowly into the low 60s at lunchtime and then to the upper 60s this afternoon. Heading out the door, again, some 50s and 60s out there. We could hit 80 degrees, though, this afternoon around uh, Fayetteville and Clinton. It's going to be warm down to the south, but cooler up to the north, 62 in South Hill, 64 in Roxborough. Beyond the showers and thunderstorms that we could see today, the next biggest weather story is the wind. Our winds are going to pick up gusting 25 to 35 miles per hour late this afternoon tonight and even early Saturday morning so that's going to be a big deal but the weekend looks gorgeous we'll see temperatures continuing in the mid to upper 60s Saturday and Sunday with sunny skies after a breezy start Saturday morning the winds will die down a bit it's going to be a chilly start on Sunday morning with temperatures in the low 40s but other than that it looks like an absolute glorious weekend hopefully you can get outside and enjoy it